who would have thought that by giving me and a small handful of other people on this platform access to the camera as well as the internet could be so damn detrimental to the health and well-being of our youth of today. I'm not holding back, I'm taking full responsibility for this mess. I'm taking full accountability for the shit that I have created for the mess that I have further perpetuated by being on this platform. I'll explain in a sec. But social media, man. Social media. What a misnomer. What a jerk. What is so social about this media? Sure, you now have access to billions of people in the world at a click of a button. You now can talk with, interacting with, and sharing your experiences with a random stranger, probably on the opposite side of the planet right now. If you just go on your phone, turn on one of these apps, go on these websites, um, send a few messages, and boom, you are connecting with another human being. You, you can connect with people from all different walks of life. With just a tap. Just a tap. You don't even need to go outside anymore. What is the point of even going outside? We now have this technology. And you don't even have to go to school anymore. Because guess what? You can just drop out, enroll yourself in one of these online courses. Which are, by the way, free. You can learn shit online. You can save money. You can save time because time is money. You have limited time on this earth and by dropping out, by going online, studying online, you can get so much shit done. You don't even have to go to school anymore. I don't think our ancestors had that luxury. In order for an ancient man to connect with other people, to open his soul to another being, he has to put in the effort. He has to take a shower, he has to brush his hair, he has to brush his teeth, put on a tuxedo, go outside, go for a walk, go for a drive in order to see his friends, go to the shops just to get something. If you want to learn something back in the days, you have to be around the right people You cannot go online. You cannot find one of these dating gurus websites or YouTubers. You cannot click on their links, join their Hustle University online courses. You cannot go on a one-on-one Zoom call with them every week just to get some analysis on your dating games and how you can attract women, how you can build wealth, how you can be location independent. How you can start your own startup business. How you can start your online store, your drop shipping store from Shopify or whatever the fuck it is. You've got to go out there into the real world. Meet the right people back in the days to learn these skills. Now you don't even need to do that. I bet some of you have this mindset that you don't need to go outside. You can just do things. In your own time. You can just go on your computer. Learn online. Because time is money right. Money is everything. Time is everything. Time equals money. You save time by learning by yourself. You don't need other people. Everything is so individualized now. We have become so individualized. And we have become so disconnected from this world. What is even the point of going out anymore. When we are can live in our own bubbles, we can live in our own world. What do you see on the screen right now? You see a guy wearing a white jacket, white scorpion jacket to be exact, just skateboarding in an empty car park at 2 freaking a.m. in the morning, all by himself. Am I further perpetuating this stereotype of the modern man by showing this on the screen to my audience? What do you see here? A guy just chilling on a bench by himself. He's not interacting with anyone. He's just being cool as fuck. He's just doing his own thing. 
He's just in his elements. This is what you probably want yourself to be. I'm so cool like that. I'm a Sigma male. A Sigma male grind set. I'm just on my grind set at the moment. I'm just doing my own thing. I'm just being a boss. Since when has this become aesthetically pleasing to the eyes? Since when have our boys and men started saying, this character is literally me? How is this literally you? He's not even real. Since when has depression become my identity? What I build my brand around? My most popular videos, the videos that get the most clicks, the most likes, the most comments, are the ones where I complain about my life, saying, I hate my life, my life is shit, my situations are shit. I hate where I am right now. I get the most likes on those. The most clickbaity titles saying, oh, Wilman ain't shit. Why it's better to go alone. Why I, I'm not going to get a wife anymore. Why it's not worth it. It's over, bros. Those videos get the most likes. When you give the minority a voice, they become the majority. And I realized that by portraying myself this way, I'm further perpetuating this stereotype. And more people, they say they relate to this. Women ain't shit. Get rich. Fuck bitches. Go your own way. That's the kind of vibe I give off. And that's not what I want to do. I've heard very alarming comments saying how people relate to this kind of behavior on my videos. That's not what I'm about. You don't know my story. You only watch a few videos. You only watch a few hit pieces. That's not me. This is me on my break at work, by the way. I'm on my break, one hour break. I didn't know what to do. I can't sleep during my breaks, during night shifts. That's why I'm making these videos. Don't get the wrong ideas, okay? Just go out there and live your own life, man. And you got to make your own meaning from your own life. This is not cool. Depression isn't cool. Mental illnesses aren't cool. Seek help, okay? Don't be alone. Being alone is cool and all, but this is not ideal. Eventually, you will need to find your tribe. Have some people in your life. With that, I want to say, stay strong, God bless, I love you all. And you know me, I have complete faith in all of you watching this. I think everyone can make it. Okay, love you. See you next time. Peace.